afternoon, boys and girls. Mr. S. Chapter 2 review on the brain. So let's get to it. There are 35 multiple choice questions, one short answer. I'm going to jump around, so follow along. It does, does not follow in the order of the video, more of the order of the test. We talked about things of the whole structure of the brain. We started from the brain stem moving up and so forth. So the one area, as I called it, the cauliflower, the cerebral cortex, that's the association areas. If it's not motor cortex or sensory, we're looking at association areas happening in the cerebral cortex. We talked about different parts. One that I told you about, the... And know how that very much, if something goes out there, your life is pretty much going to be over. We talked about um, basic cell structure, things like axon dendrite, myelin sheath, communication, multiple sclerosis, degeneration of myelin sheath. Along those same lines, we talked about networks, neural networks, those interconnected clusters of neurons in the central nervous system, which is that electrochemical speedy is the nervous system. We talked about the idea of right versus left-handedness and that left-handedness needs seems to be especially either something genetic or something environmental or prenatal I should say. We talked about hearing and the audio portion, Broca's, Wernick's, angular gyrus. Please know the different parts, especially things like movement to move your mouth to make words comes from Broca's area. When we talked about the communication that happens in this nervous system, we talked about the idea of sensory versus motor neurons. Well, we talked about inner neurons, and that's how information travels from the spinal cord to the brain. Inner neurons are the inner play between spinal cord and brain. That's why a reflex doesn't go to the brain and just to the spinal cord. Um, we talked about the idea of hypothalamus, reward center, pleasure center, rats, old and Milner hypothalamus. Take your hands, roll them on your head. Phrenology, good. Know the difference of sensory and motor neurons and how when you feel something, sensory neurons happen first, motor neurons next. Know the difference, as I talked about on the flow chart of the nervous system, sympathetic versus parasympathetic. What gets you excited versus what slows you down or calms you down. We talked about the different lobes. So know what basically go on in frontal versus parietal, occipital versus temporal, that kind of thing. We talked about, um, again, the roles of the cortex, sensory, and motor, in order to make movement, in order to make voluntary movement, motor cortex uh, is the key to make that happen first. We talked about in parts of the cell axon, remember we went out in the, in the quad, axon dendrite, axon dendrite, axon dendrite, okay? Um, what else? Let's see. We talked about the idea of the roles of different lobes, so if something were to happen with, let's say, you get hit really hard or damaged to the back of your head, to the occipital lobe, you will have problems with vision. Um, we talked about the idea of how cells communicate, cell phones, or the idea that the chemical messengers travel across that synaptic gap. And so those are neurotransmitters or chemical messengers that go across that synaptic gap we talked about that creates the axon potential to move on. We talked about the endocrine system and different uh, hormones that are released like epinephrine and norepinephrine, know where they come from, adrenal glands. Um, let's see, we talked about that, what else? Oh, split brains. The idea of split brains, um, the the idea there is the corpus callosum has been surgically cut and they also will cut the corpus callosum in people to deal with epileptic seizures and as I was talking about earlier the idea how 
This may stop the communication from one side to another so the brain doesn't talk to each other the way it normally does. We talked about the reticular formation, know where that is. We talked about different types of ways to see inside the brain. And we talked about things like um, PET scans, woof, or CAT scans. Know the difference, especially PET scans work on glucose. Remember the giant pencil sharpener machine? Or head, plas or head sharpener, I should say. And then uh, last couple ideas, we talked about plasticity, how the brain fixes itself. Um, know some of the other neurotransmitters, things like endorphins and how opiate drugs, they occupy the same receptor sites and that's why you get the same effect. We talked about things like ACH, acetylcholine, and how like, the, like curare does muscle paralysis. Um, let's see. That's pretty much... Everything else should be repetitive. So you've gotten pretty much 90% of things right there. So just know, as we talked about, parts of the cell, know the idea of neural networks, know the difference from axon and dendrites. Axons send away from the cell body. Dendrites are the branching extensions of neurons that receive the message. And then finally, um, for your free response, know about Broca's area, Wernick's area, and the angular gyrus. Okay, if you do all that, you should be great. Uh, study, read hard, and see you later.